Hi friends, it's Julia. I'm here to share my August um, One Kit 12 cards and it's going to be like one kit you know, 30 cards <laughs> is pretty much what I do. Anyway, last year in July in 2019, I had done a whole uh, series of Christmas in July. There is a playlist, so check that out on my YouTube channel. Um, but I had one of my mini kits that I created left over, and so I was going to carry it forward and do Christmas in July again this year, but for whatever reason, I chose not to. Um, and so I had this... This one is the last kit, mini kit that I had. This paper, 6x6 six six paper pad, was the last mini kit collection that I had put together. And I saved it for last because it was my favorite and I did not want to cut it. Um, I have used it a little bit in the past to make a few Christmas cards, but for the most part, um, it's it's all together. And so I want to use this to create uh, Christmas cards for this year. So what I'm going to do, um, the, I'll show you the mini kit that I've put together. Um, I've got that. Um, along with that kit were, were all of these supplies. Now these were a long sticker sheet from... Okay, so I took this sheet from... I believe it is... Hobby Lobby. Um, and it is a sticker sheet full of presents. Um, and they're just on this clear um, backing sticker. So I took, I had two sheets of them. One was partially used. And I took them and I put them on craft cardstock. And I fussy cut them out. If I don't get them used, that's okay. They'll go back into my stash. Um, I had a little package from Recollections of these crosses. Um, and I added those in. There's another of those. I had several embellishment packs. Um, I have the My Mind's Eye Market Street. I had three packs of Freckled Fawn Transparency Shapes from December of 2016. And this Yuletide Ephemera. Um, so I had bits and pieces left of each of these. And then these were new. I had not. So all of that is mixed into here. I have tons and tons of embellishments in here to play with. Lots of acetate pieces. There were also some recollections, um, I believe they were recollections or Hobby Lobby, I don't remember which, but there's more embellishments down in there. Um, I had this pack that had the deer head, the stars, and the snowflakes, um, and it was a huge package, and I split it up into multiple kits, so that's what I had added into here. These are tags, I think they're old Can Company tags that I added in. And so, uh, these are some gold tags. I started off with 12 or 16 of them, and I added four into this kit. I also had, I think it was American Crafts doilies um, that I had added into each of my mini kits. And I had just added, uh, it looks like one red, two green, and two gold uh, mini doilies. I had Bitty Bling from Want to Scrap, as well as... Bitty Sparkles from Close to My Heart um, that I have added in. And so there's green. And there's two sheets of each of these. And red. And then there's three of this one. These are the Close to My Heart. Uh, and they're faceted. I don't know if the camera will pick that up. They're faceted um, acrylic um, dots. Then I also have these wood veneer. These are, uh, I want to say maybe either Recollections or Hobby Lobby Paper Studio, but I had like a whole package of them and I split them up between the mini kits. And these are just, I have, it looks like about five in this one, five or six. So that's what I have in there. And then uh, in here are just more of the smaller tiny bits and pieces from the uh, ephemera packs that um, I added in. I had two of these leatherette bows from Freckled Fawn that I added in. I had this felt Christmas tree and uh, I don't remember where. It was either Hobby Lobby or Michael's, but I have like three of them. And so I think this is the last one. I had these two uh, glitter ribbons. This is a glitter rickrack shape and this is a tiny little gold, um, not ribbon. 
uh, washi tape. I have this ribbon that I found in my stash and it is that beautiful green color with cream color snowflakes on it. Then some green rickrack and yeah that's it as far as the ribbons go in here. Um, I do have some additional ribbons that I pulled in. This set of ribbons um, a friend of mine gave me some card kits a while ago um, and they were in like little cellophane bags and those bags were tied with these ribbons so I took them off and I saved the ribbons because I love them and I've put a few of the ribbons in each of the little mini kits that I used and so um, yeah these are I, I don't quite think they're the last of them but I did out get I did get out my old pebbles um, ribbon uh, iron and I did straighten those out they were pretty icky looking. So I have those added in. Um, I have this one sticker left from, um, where is that? Hobby Lobby. Um, and then I had a set of these border stickers. And you can see this one here I've cut up into bits and pieces. And I've used one full one here. But these border pieces are from uh, Hobby Lobby as well. And I have this left together to, to get used. And let's see. I have these border strips. Now some of these are like this one and this one. And this one are ones that I've punched out from scraps. Okay, these came from an old can company or SEI, maybe SEI uh, packet of border strips and they're double sided. So I could use either side, but I think these sides will go well with the paper that I chose. Then I pulled out some old, uh, there's a gold and then some craft and tan cards that I found in my stash. They're just blank cards. And then I cut some cardstock up, uh, 12 by 12 cardstock up to create some card bases. Now this is an old close to my heart. Uh, it said 24 pieces of craft cardstock and I may have added to that. Yeah, because I actually cut 25 pieces. Now this craft cardstock I had in a uh, packet of neutral color cardstocks that I have always carried with me and so it's they were close to my heart and then probably other manufacturers as well. Then I went through my stash and added in these two packages. Uh, one is green, one is red. And I don't know where they're from, but I picked them up at a, a retreat that I went to and they were on a giveaway table. This says red confetti and green confetti. Those are 20 pieces of half of an eight and a half by 11. So I'm counting that as 20 pieces of eight and a half by 11. And I'll use those. I don't know if I'll necessarily use them as card bases or if I will use them to back the papers that I have. Plus I went through and I added 10 pieces of eight and a half by 11 uh, black cardstock. So I have all of that that I have added in. So let me get over here because I want to show you the stamps that I have pulled in as well. I have pulled in this set from close, well all of these are close to my heart. This one is, has the stamps and the dies and I don't know the name of it. The name of it is Silver and Gold Card Making. So I think it came with a silver and gold pattern paper set that you could purchase as well um, and use that. So I have that. And then this one is called Season of Magic. I love this wreath on here and I'll probably get some use out of that. Um, this one is called Pear and Partridge Card Making Workshop. This one is pretty old, but I love it still. This one's old too. Merriest Wishes, Workshops Your Way. I think most of these are fairly old. Uh, Merriest Christmas Holiday. And then finally, Spray of Joy Holiday. So yeah, I am looking forward to playing with those stamps. I am looking forward to um, creating cards using this kit. Now I will reserve the right to pull in some additional things to use with this kit, um, with these paper selections. I love this. This was the most, uh, when I created those mini kits, this one was the biggest one. 
and you can see I have a ton of stuff but I also not only do I want to make a ton of cards I also have some uh, two and a half by what is it three one two three and a half two and a half by three and a half pieces of cardstock that I have trimmed down and I will make these into tags for Christmas time this year um, so I want to try and use those as well whether or not I get it used with this I don't know and that's okay I can always pull in from my stash of Christmas supplies but give me a few minutes and I'll come back and I'll show you what I have created Okay, friends, um, I've completed my little mini kit, um, and I use quite a bit of it. Um, I'll show you my packaging that I have left over um, that product got used up. I used up that the entire um, cardstock pieces that I had, the 12 by 12s. I used up a partial package of envelopes. Um, I had some homemade embellishments, I think, or something, maybe ribbon in there. I don't remember. Um, I used uh, a partial package of Biddy Sparkles from Close to My Heart. I used some Dimensional Cross embellishments. I used Biddy Bling in green and also in red. Um, I used all three packages of these freckled fawn transparency shapes i used a portion of each um, but i combined them all into one and then i had one wreath in this package um, that i used up so i think all of that will go into the trash um, this is a little um baggie that it all that i had it stored in my stamps i did um use each set at least once I think most of them I used at least twice. I did not use any of the uh, dies that I had. <clears throat> I thought I was going to, but then I didn't. Um, as far as paper goes from the cardstock that I had added in, this is what I have left. And you can see these are small pieces. Some of this will go right into the trash uh, or recycle. Others will go into my stash. Um, and then pattern paper. Y'all remember this 20, this 6x6 paper pad had 20 sheets in it. Um, I had previously used 24 and I did have scraps in here. This is it. This is all that I have left. Lots of little scraps. Um, and I think this is going into the trash. I'm not even going to try and salvage any of the smaller pieces. This is the transparencies. Like I said, I can bind them into one package now. This set of Market Street, I have all of the original Market Street um, embellishments in the front here. And then these were just additional ones from other packages that I had left over that I added in. Um, part of those were in this package as well. These are the Utah, Yuletide Ephemera. And this is what I have left of the original Yuletide. And I've used a lot of that. I have this sheet of um, foiled border icons. And I used uh, a portion of this one, a portion of this one, and then this partial piece here. I have Biddy Bling in red and green. Then I have this package of uh, sticker presents. This is one sheet and two are gone off of this. The other partial sheet that I had that was nearly full, I used up. Then I have these two packs of cardstock. Each one had 20 half sheets in it. Um, and I used of the red. I have 12 left, so what is that? No. Of the red, I have six left, so I use 14 of these. And of the green, I have eight left, so I use 12 of those. The black, I did not use at all. Um, these are the border strips that I have left. A couple of partial pieces and a couple of uh, full pieces. And then I have the ribbon. I have some of it left. Um, I did use quite a bit. Um, I have a couple of these bigger die cut pieces left. Uh, I have some of the wood veneer left. I think I used a couple pieces of that. Uh, these ribbons, I used both of. The washi tape, I used both of. 
and then these leatherette bows are just too big i'm gonna have to find another purpose not card making or scrapbooking these are just too big for that um, and then i have these pieces here that i had used on a card that i cut off the edge i thought i might try and fussy cut those out as well as these christmas trees here um, i didn't want to throw them away those will probably go into my Christmas stash to do something with. Because you guys know me, I don't throw anything away if I like it. If I don't like it, it doesn't bother me in the least to throw it away. So that's what I have left. And I will show you the cards that I created. I created, I think, 34 cards, which is pretty impressive. My goal was to make 12 cards, and of course, you know, I surpassed that. I'm very pleased that I made so many cards and here they all are you can see there's a ton um, and I used the craft backgrounds because I had the craft envelopes so I wanted to get those used up and I made these mostly two by two um, so it's the same design on these two um, with a few variations this one has some of the gold washi tape on it um, and that's that's pretty much it um yeah this one these are the packages that i put on craft paper craft scraps and cut those out that was already pre-printed and on the inside of both of these cards they're just the same it says wishing you the merriest christmas and then i used a scrap piece of paper the envelopes i did not stamp anything on they're plain now i haven't decided if i'll go back and like put a christmas tree or something on those i don't know next up are these two and i just took different die cuts and embellishments and stacked them up like there's a vellum tag there's an acetate piece here there's a deer head here and then one of the little packages here there's that big die cut piece uh, acetate um, and then the um, little package here and these are the same on the inside it says may the magic of the season fill your heart and home warmest wishes and I use bling on both of those. I think I use bling on all of them. This one, that's just a die cut as is that. And you can see I just cut the paper out and layered it all up. The insides say, have a wonderful Christmas. This one, I had a left, I had this one, um, wreath. And so I used a doily. I used one of the banner, um, border strips i used a couple of the little die cut pieces and cut them down to uh, place up here this one i used an acetate piece i used um, a vellum um, die cut i used the border piece and i used bling on both of those the inside is the exact same it says wishing you a happy holiday season so yeah these two are just the same. It says joy on the front. I stamped that out. Use some stars um, across the front. Um, and those, I did not have any of the gold glitter ones in my stash. So I went to um, my little bowl that I keep. I went to my stash to find the little gold stars. Um, I use bling there and the insides are the exact same. It says happiest holidays. And these are the same just a little bit different uh, they're different acetate stars um, but the small star and this star are the same and there's a border strip down there too this one these are exactly the same as well um, and you can see um, I just took those uh, presents and placed them there stamped out Merry Christmas um, on there use some bling on the front and then use some of the ephemera pieces and cut apart. And this says, wishing you harmony and love this Christmas. So yeah. These two are the same. It says joyful season across the front. And it's got the ribbon with the bow. It's got bling. It's got the bitty bling around uh, the wreath. And it says merriest wishes and happiest holidays. These two are the same. It just says Christmas joy. They're exactly the same. I had the same papers and everything. So you can see I have a border strip. I have the washi tape. I have uh, the acrylic pieces. They're not, they're the, the um, 
close to my heart pieces, the faceted pieces. I stamped out that Christmas joy, put some bitty bling on there, and it says, wishing you the merriest Christmas. They're the same on the inside and the out on those two. These two um, are pretty close to the same. They're there are some differences. I had a bunch of tags, so I just started layering them up across my desk and putting ephemera bits and pieces on there to kind of stack them up and layer them up. You can see this one has some acetate um, snowflakes, and I put some bitty bling around on this one. I used that wider ribbon to put on the back, the smaller ribbon for the tag. I used an acetate piece, and I used a couple of tags on the front as well as the um, acrylic dots. And it says happy Christmas on the inside this one is a little different I used a pattern piece of paper on the back double layer the tags use that felt Christmas tree and then used one of the um, pre-made crosses from a package that I had added in Whoa. here's a couple more of those I'm running out of space here. So you can see, I just did these the same way. I used the wider ribbon across the bottom, and then it started with my tags. I have acetate, I have gold foil tag, uh, acetate, and this is a uh, Can Company tag on the front. And then here I have my gold tag on the back, and then I used a doily and um, one of the die cut pieces the deer head and then I used a package on both of these and I used one of those uh, crosses pre-made crosses um, yeah that was already uh, a title in one of the ephemera packs that was in the ephemera packs um, yeah so you can see and this insides are all the same it says happy Christmas and I did put pop dots behind um, the backs of those to make them stand up a little bit. These are pretty simple. It says Happy Holidays. It is the same format as are these. So you can see, same format. You have the presents. Um, you have the bling. Uh, this says wishing you a happy holiday season. This one just says Happy Holidays. Um, and I brought in the white cardstock here and the cream cardstock from my scrap bin and the inside says wishing you harmony and love this Christmas and this one says this Christmas is love with all the trimmings so a little bit different sentiment but the same card basically these two again are the same um, you see my process I start with a pattern and I follow that through for at least two cards sometimes more um, I just layered up some stars. This is a tag that was in one of the ephemera pieces. Added some bitty bling, and it says Merry Christmas on the inside. Again, the stars, the bitty bling. Um, this is an acetate piece on top of this die cut piece. It says Jingle all the way. And on this one, I used a bit of that um, foiled border strip as well as a border piece down here. Same sentiment on the inside. These two are the same. Um, this washi tape did not stick really well, so uh, it's kind of lifting up there on the front. This one I did with the washi tape a little bit closer together. Um, I felt like the pattern in the background, when I spaced it out wider, it kind of lost it. Whereas it, it looks okay because this one is monochromatic on the back and the wider strips look nicer there. Um, so I stamped out the warmest wishes. I layered up a doily, an acetate piece, and um, a die cut piece as well as this um, cross. Used some bitty bling. And then on the inside it says, May the magic of the season fill your heart and home. This one has the same sentiment, um, same layout with the doily, the acetate piece, the snowflake, and then the cross. Then these two are the same. It says, Tis the Season. These are a couple of ephemera die cuts. That was ribbon that was in the kit. That one I found laying over in my spinner here on the desk. There's a border strip along here. Um, 
yeah just a scrap piece to put the title on or put the the title <laughs> the sentiment tis the season use bitty bling and it says have a wonderful christmas this is the same and then finally well not finally i have these two uh down to scraps here this is where i use that foiled um, border strip along the bottom. I used a pre-cut border strip there. Just some scraps of paper, some bitty bling, an acetate piece, and the package. And it says Seasons Greetings on the inside. This is the same except for it's a different border strip here, but it's the same um, border along the bottom. And the same, of course, um, bits and pieces of scraps paper in the background the bitty bling and then the package with the acetate underneath and then this is the final one i just went through grabbed some circle punches and punched out a ton of circles stamped out the sentiment that says have a wonderful christmas and then stamp joy on the inside so that's it so let's see there's one two three four five six seven eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, and 34 cards total. So there you go. A total of 34 cards with my one kit, 12 cards <laughs> kit. Anyway, I'll see you guys on the next video. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.